what is up guys how y'all doing today welcome back to the channel for another episode of retro reviews so welcome to our season summary of the new england patriots right i took him through a season here so it's a season summary and a pregame show because we um we got a uh a playoff game uh later on okay so we're just but this is a season summary show um so I didn't document the season itself. Um, some, you know, I don't always do that. Sometimes I just, you know, because I, I can't document every game I play on here. Because I, I, yeah, uh, I I play this game often. You know, I play this game when I got like another season, like currently going on on YouTube, right? So, but yeah, I can't uh, document every uh, game. I play it so much. I play it that much. But yeah, anyways, we uh, we I took the Patriots through the season here. Um, the the, the you know, Mark Wilson was our starting quarterback. So yeah, let's just go over the season stats here and uh, see how everybody did. So yeah, Mark Wilson. Well, first let's uh, check out Steve Grogan. Steve Grogan came in for two plays and he went 0 for two and and an interception. So <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Mark Wilson was our guy this year. <clears throat> so he completed 74.7% of his passes for 3,470 yards, <clears throat> 39 touchdowns, and 8 interceptions. So pretty solid season for Mark Wilson. And uh, so yeah, he, 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 he's the guy to go, go with if you're going to take the pages too. Uh, he also had 17 scrambles there for 95 yards, a five and a half yard average. No touchdown, no rushing touchdowns. That's different for me. Usually, I'm getting some, you know, at least one or two rushing touchdowns with my quarterback per year. So, but this, hey, not every year's uh, the same, right? So yeah, th this year we uh, we didn't get him in there on the ground, but hey, he did he did uh, get 39 through the air. So I think we'll, we can cut him some slack, right? Uh, yeah, Mark Wilson, pretty good uh, season. Uh, Marvin Allen, he was just kind of mostly on the kickoff returns. Uh, a little bit here and there on offense. He had 16 runs, 76 yards, 5 rushing touchdowns. So pretty good on just 16 carries. 6 catches, 73 yards, and a touchdown. Uh, but you can see here, you know, he was did a lot of kickoffs there. 12 kickoffs, 174 yards, 14-yard average, and 5 punts for 27 yards. John Stevens, our fullback, he had uh, 25 carries for 155 yards, 6.2 yard average, 5 rushing touchdowns, and 6 receptions for 94 yards and a receiving touchdown. He also was did some kick returns, 12 for 199. Uh, George Adams, our other running back, mostly on the kickoffs. He does, other than that, on offense, he had 3 runs for 26 yards. <laughs> Mostly, uh, mostly on the special teams, though. Mosey Tatapu was our main running back this year with 123 carries, 894 yards, a 7.2 yard average, and 14 rushing touchdowns. Uh, he also had five catches for 144 yards and two receiving touchdowns. That's pretty good for the running back, right? Five catches, a 28 yard average. So. It's like, yeah, he only got five, but when he did catch them, <laughs> they were pretty, they were doozies, right? So, Mosey Tatapu, pretty solid season there. All right, Irving Fryer, our standout wide receiver. He had 36 catches, 1,105 yards, and seven receiving touchdowns. Pretty good solid season for Irving Fryer. Our other receiver, Hartley Dykes. Uh, had 20 catches, 675 yards, and 10 receiving touchdowns. So he didn't have as many catches, but he ha actually had more touchdowns than uh, Irving did. Uh, Greg McMurdy, he was, uh, I'm going to say, our third wide receiver. He'd come in on uh, passing situations there. He, he got 15 receptions, 378 yards, and 5 touchdowns. So pretty good season there. For, pretty good for just for spot. Pretty good stats there for spot duty. Uh, he also had you know, a few kickoff and punt returns. Sammy Martin, just some special teams work there. I was trying, you know, sometimes people get hurt, so it's like I put, you know, put him in there. He he didn't do that great for us. Only 14 
yard average on the kick, kickoffs. A tight end, Marv Cook, pretty good season, 40 catches, 850 yards, and 13 receiving touchdowns. Uh, he, he was our touchdown uh, leader on, as far as uh, receiving goes. Yeah, because uh, Irving Fryer had 7, Hartley Dykes had 10, and Cook here had 13. So Marv Cook was cooking for us, right? Eric, Sie Eric Sievers, our backup tight end, he did come in. Uh, I would bring him in on sometimes on, uh, you know, like I said, on passing situations because he is a fit. He's got 50 receptions on average there, so that's still that's pretty good. So he did snag eight catches for 151 yards over 18 yard average. So those are offensive guys. Let's go to our kicker, Jason Strofsky. He was perfect on the season. Hit all 63 extra points. And he was 11 for 11 on field goal attempts. So Jason Strofsky is heading to the Pro Bowl. Honolulu, right? Our punter, Brian Hansen, only punted three times for 150 yards. So a fit, solid 50-yard average error on the punts. All right, let's go do the defense. Garen Ferris, he had four sacks. Tim Goad had one sack. Ray Agnew. Four sacks. Andre Tippett, three sacks. Ed Reynolds had eight sacks. Richard Harvey, four sacks. Chris Singleton, four sacks. Maurice Hurst had one sack and one interception. Ronnie LaPette had two sacks and three interceptions. Fred, Fred Marion had three interceptions for 14 yards return, and Rod McSwain had one sack and one interception. So yeah, our, our defensive backs, uh, let's see, he had, he had one, he didn't have one, but Pat had two, so there's three and four. Yeah, so our defensive backfield had four sacks on the season, so pretty good there, you know. They see the quarterback starting to scramble, they'd get up there and bam, they'd get him before he crossed the line of scrimmage. Okay, so there's our offense and defensive stats. Check out the league leaders here. So, quarterbacks. Mark Wilson, number one rated quarterback in the league, right? With a rating of 196.8. Closest, next closest there is Dan Marino. Wow, Jay Schrader was number three. Well, they, they did go 14-2 on the season. Raider, Raiders had a Raiders had a heck of a year. 14-2, won the division. Jim Everett, Boomer, Science, and Joe Montana. Mark Rippin, Warren Moon, Troy Aikman, and Jim Harbaugh. Jim Kelly and Phil Sims. There's your top 12. Let's go to receiving here. The Rice Man, 65 catches, 19 touchdowns. He's a, he's a beast. Let's go to maybe yards. I know. Yeah, there's Irving Fryer was number 8 in yardage, over 1,100 yards. Uh, let's go to yards per reception there. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. We got our our two receivers was number one and two, Dykes and Fryer. Dykes had actually a three yard average, three yard edge on Fryer, thirty three yards and thirty yard average there. Uh, um, Fryer is actually Fryer and Thomas are you uh, yeah, know Thurman Thomas on the Bills. That's crazy. And receiving touchdowns. Yeah, the Rice man. Well, there's Marv Cook there. Number tied for number three with Mervin Swervin Mervin Fernandez. Let's go to rushing. Neil Anderson, there you go. Oh, wow, almost eighteen hundred yards. Gee, ten yard average. Nineteen touchdowns. That's who we're facing. That's who we're that's who that's who we possibly could be facing in the Super Bowl, right? How, how cool would that be? Patriots, Bears, Super Bowl rematch, right? But we'll have to see. We gotta, we gotta get past a couple of teams first before we can do that. Uh, yeah, we probably gonna be there on rushing. Maybe you see attempts. And nope. About touchdowns. Yeah, there's Mosey Tatapu. He had 14 rushing touchdowns. Tied at number six. About the punter, Mike Curran was the leading punter. Yeah, our guy was only 50-yard average here, so there he is. He's number seven. A lot of times I did have the number one punter, but not this time. 
sacks. Derek Thomas, 26 sacks. Dennis Bird at 19. You know, we're not, we're not going to be up there with sacks because, like I said, with my playing style, I only really rush the passer on third and fourth down, you know, myself, right? Now, our guys will get a sack a lot of times themselves, but I'm playing coverage. On, I play coverage on first and second down uh, and pick run on those downs. So, like I said, I like the challenge in this game. I don't like blowouts all the time. I, I like like I like a little bit of I like uh, I like competitive games. You know, it's more exciting. So here's the kickoff return. Yep, ain't nobody there. How about the punt return? Williams. Nope. How about interceptions? Brett Maxey of the Saints. Humphrey of the Rams. Johnson, Cook, okay, Carrier, and the scoring leader, Neil Anderson. Wow, he had 33 total touchdowns between rushing and receiving. Man. Man, where's our, see if we got any buy on here at all. Now our kicker, there's our kicker, Jason Strosky, 96 points. And Mosey Tatapu, there he is, he had 16 total. Touchdowns. So yeah, Tatapu and Strosky had the same amount of points. How about that? Right, let's go to the team rankings. Offense. So there we are, number six. We have the number six ranked offense in the league. Number four passing. Yeah, I figured we'd be down. We're worse rushing. Yeah, 24th rushing. How about the defense? So wow. Okay. Number <laughs> most times I have number one ranked defense when I play a season, but again these are the Patriots. You know they they got a few good players, but I'm gonna say they probably got more bad players than good, especially like the front seven. On the front seven they they get on the front seven they got two good guys. They got Ray Agnew and Andre Tippett. So there you go. Two out of seven are good, so that means five out of the seven are. Pretty much, you know, but um, so yeah, and, and they got one real, they got one really, they got one superstar cornerback, defensive back Ronnie Lepet. Their other cornerback uh, Hurst, he's solid, he's good. Uh, the safety, the one safety is pretty, he's just uh, kind of okay. And then the, I think the one, we'll, we'll go back and look, but the, I don't think I think the one safety is not very good at all. So. They, like I said, they got a few, I'm going to say three to four, well, no, let's take it back. Let's say four to five good players on defense. So four or five out of 11. So, yeah, yeah, so you, you see there, that's, that's why we're ranked, part of the reason we're ranked number 13 total. Uh, let's see, we was number six against the pass. And number 22 against the run. Yeah, we're always... We're always worse against the run. <laughs> All right, let's go to the division standings here. There we are, 13 and three, won the division. Uh, Dolphins and the uh, are in the playoffs at 10 and six. Bills are in the playoffs at nine and seven. Yeah, it didn't look good actually because we um, at one point at one point we was like eight and three. And, and the Bills were like, uh, let's see, no, I'm going to say, I'm going to say seven and three. Okay, yeah. Um, so yeah, the three games we lost this year was we, we actually lost to the Dolphins both games. The, you know, the, the Dolphins swept us this year and we lost to the Bills once. But we, so we, in week 10, we lost to the Bills and week 11, we lost to the Dolphins. Okay, so we lost back-to-back -back weeks there in week 10 and 11. At that point, we were 7-3, and three, okay? Um, so we were 7-3. and three. Let's go back to the division standings. We were 7-3, and three, and the Bills was 9-1. and one. So, yeah, at that point, we were two games back of the Bills, right? And, but, so, yeah, as you can see, the Bills went on a losing streak. Um, I'm going to say we probably 
help start that losing streak because that game, even though the Bills beat us, uh, Thurman Thomas did get hurt that game. And then later on, uh, Jim Kelly got hurt. So, yeah, the Bills actually went on a losing streak, and we went on a winning streak, right? We were 7-3, and three, and they were like 9-1. Like and one. So it was like, at that point, it's like, man, we're two games. We just lost two two games back-to-back. -back. We're two games back, you know. It was kind of a, an unsettling feeling, like. So it's like, but, you know, hey, you just got to, it's just kind of a sick feeling in your stomach, you know. But it's, it's hey, you got to deal with it. You just got to press, got to move on and keep fighting and just keep doing your best and see what happens, you know. So, yeah, we uh, did go on a winning streak there. We didn't lose any more games. We uh, won out, finished the season 13-3, and, and, yeah, Bills went on a nosedive from that point. Um, and it's like, so I was actually shocked when we we won the division. I was like, wow, you know. So, um, so yeah, we went from trailing there at one point. You know, week 11, you know, it was week 11, and we're two games back, but we end up uh, winning the division. So that was pretty cool. So there you go, guys. That is our season summary. And so you kind of now have a have an idea and feel of what happened this season. So we're going to have a uh, our uh, game. So that's going to do it for the video. I uh, just wanted to show you our uh, season summary of, uh, of the Patriots here that we uh, had taking Mark Wilson, Mark taking them through as Mark, with Mark Wilson uh, as our starting quarterback. So we had a pretty good season. So our division opponent, or our, I'm sorry, our playoff opponent will be determined in the next video, right? When we, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to simulate, I'm going to, you know, do the wild card games and we'll see who we're, uh, see who, who we're going to be playing. So, all right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Leave me your thoughts in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So until next time, have a good one, okay? And I'll see you when I see you. But if this is your first time to the channel, tap subscribe and the bell ding ding so you're notified when I upload new videos. So until next time, guys, keep it retro. Come Lord Jesus. And liftoff. We have liftoff. Challenger head. Clear the towers.